Peter Singer, in your 2001 article, Heavy Petting, uh, you state that mutually satisfying sexual activities between humans and animals can develop. <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> I was raising the question why we have such a taboo on this. But there can be occasions, I don't know, you know, it's a family program, how much vivid description you want, but uh, a woman has oral sex performed by her dog, okay? Brings know, new meaning I know, to I know doggy women style. Who, I know women who have said that this is, this is something that pleases them. That seems to me harmless. If this we, is if, a trained dog, if, obviously. Well, it's... it's, it's, it's um, I don't see why we have a huge Sorry, taboo Peter, even over discussing... Sorry, this is just weird. <laughs> yeah. well, it's just weird. It's, it's not common, but, it's but is it wrong is the question, right? Jay, this is your territory. Yeah, I'm, just... <laughs> I, I'm not... Let's, let's get a psychiatrist's perspective on this. Well, I'm just sitting here thinking now, Freud did say that human beings are polymorphously perverse, which is another way of just saying there are lots of different views that just sometimes you have to draw the line and go, that's weird. But is it wrong? Would you, would you want to cure wrong, a patient wrong or would you want to make what? a patient? So I suppose, I mean, I, I've actually... I'm not going to cure anyone who doesn't want to be cured. Right, exactly. That, that's exactly. the other that's side the, of So since I, since I wrote this little piece, I've had people, sex therapists, come to me and say that they've had uh, patients who were tortured with guilt because they got set some sexual satisfaction from contact with their animals and their lives were miserable. Seriously. But is it wrong is the question. It involves cruelty and the infliction of power and dominance on an animal. Seriously. But is it wrong is the question.